Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. I am Sharmin Afroz on behalf of Alfred International School and College. I hope that you all are fine. As we are passing a pandemic time, yet we have to be very patient and careful about everything. Today I will talk about our chapter which is name is chap water. It's chapter 9. It is about a science subject and uh, it's um, eligible for standard 2. Let's start our lesson. We will start our lesson from page 70 and it was about water. So first we have to know about the source of water. Rain is the main source of water naturally because from rain we can easily get water. Rain comes from clouds and uh, when it comes in the earth it takes a puddles shape or streams. We all know that puddles is a small place where rain water stuck for a few moment. It's not a long time stable because water easily water easily pass away or flow down from one place to another place from one place to another place and some water are so sink by the earth rain water when comes in the earth it goes down any other place or sink by the earth that's why if it shape or form puddles or any other steams it doesn't stay for a long time but in some places we can easily saw water like ponds lakes and rivers rivers sometimes um, takes water from the sea or oceans and whenever we go any native village or out just outside the dhaka city we can easily saw lakes canals and rivers and as we are a riverine country so rivers are very common in our country this is the also source of water in some extent the following water pass over different kind of soil so we all know that water flow away over the soil the soil may be aluminium soil or any fertile soil so when they pass away from soil when water pass away from soil passes away from passes away from soil it takes away some salt it takes some amount of salt it take away some amount of salt with it and that's why when it comes on the sea or ocean the water turn into salty because of the soil salt the water comes into become comes salty that's why whenever we tasted any sea or oceans water it feels salty let's go to the next page as we already mentioned that as i already mentioned that human needs water so not only the human but also animals and plants in fact all living beings is totally depend on water all living beings all living beings is totally depend on water So we need water on our daily basis but rain doesn't occur in the everyday in our life 
that's why we have to search for another source of water that's why we dig wells and we can make uh, dumps by by providing any block um, throughout the rivers and whenever we try to block a following rivers by putting something on it that time we use the water for our daily basis like our native villages women uh, do similar things to use water like dams dams means our struggle that our struggle that preserves some water from river and we also dig wells and wells is very common in our native villages water from underground can be brought to the surface with a pump as we already know that our our country has a riverine country so in the underground there is a huge amount of water so anyone can easily get this water through pump by establish a pump on their um, on their houses anyone can pull the water from the underground to the surface in some places there are natural spring also everyone know the natural spring natural spring means a spring that natural spring are commonly watched in the kagrachuri and um, that that site where the hills are occurred and uh, and there is a huge natural spring you can see and those natural spring just brought the water from the underground to the surface go to the next page we store water in many way we store water for our necessity because water is not available all of the time that's why we have to store store water in some cases we can store water from bottles or pots or any other thing which is useful like um, for house we can use water tank as there is a very huge number of family members that's why we need a huge amount of water that's why we can use a large water tank or if uh, we want to store store water in a small amount that time we can uh, use bottles or pots and any other reservoirs here we also look that we all also use lakes or bill river as reservoirs reservoir means such things from which we get water or we can store water for our necessities it may be like i already mentioned that water tank or any other things water from rivers and well is not always clean or poor those water we can get from a river and wells is not always clean because the water is an open place that's why sometimes some germs and other harmful particles you can easily get from those water as it is open area so every insect and everything can be put on it but if we be, we will be careful about it then we can easily avoid those germs and particles harmful particles drinking dirty water may sometimes causes watery diseases water diseases water diseases which is water related and it may cause very harmful for our health so drinking dirty water can also make us very ill and we will be suffer for that that's why whenever we drink any water we should make sure that the water is clean and pure now talk about evaporation about page 72 the most important topic of the chapter evaporation and condensation evaporation you can call it exhalation and condensation
you can call it fixation so let's start evaporation is when water is heated it turn into water vapor water vapor water vapor water vapor is such thing when we heat any water in a pot there is something on the air just up the pot it was a tiny water droplet and when we water evaporate cool down it from tiny drop of water when we cool down the water vapor when we cool down cool down the water vapor it turns into tiny water droplet it turns it turns tiny water droplet this droplet is called condensation when we heat the water it turn into water vapor it turn into water vapor and when we cool the water vapor it turn into tiny water droplet the cooling part of the wa water vapor is called condensation the cooling down procedure called condensation and the heating procedure and the heating procedure is called evaporation so we are clear about evaporation and condensation let's talk about the cycle on a sunny day when water on the surface water on the surface of the surface heated by the sun that time the water of the sea becomes the water vapor and it cool it becomes the cloud on the sky let's see the cycle of water it is our day to day process and um, when sun heated the sea water when sun heated the sea water it become evaporate it become evaporate and turn into cloud in the sky in the sky it become evaporate and turn into cloud in the sky when there is a lots of cloud when there is a lots of cloud then the cloud because of the heavy cloud there rain occur because of the heavy cloud rain occur in the earth and water came in the earth water came in the surface of the earth when water come in the surface of the earth it become flow down to the sea flow down to the sea and the water of the sea again evaporate because of the heat of the sun and it becomes cloud and the same procedure goes on this circle is called water cycle
this cycle is called water cycle and the procedure is going on and on and we can easily see that how water cycle is goes on so i think that this cycle will help you to understand the lesson properly and anyone can note it then you can note it down it will be helpful for you in the future thank you everyone for stay with me such a long time assalamu alaikum